Hello and welcome to Audio Quick Tips number 51. My name's Lee Woodward. Today's piece of knowledge is a famous passage from the Complete Salesperson course entitled Blockages to Success. This was actually written as an email to many coaching clients at a time when the marketplace was dark, people weren't getting results, and everyone was blaming something rather than taking responsibility for what they can do to improve their own situation each and every day. In real estate, it's pretty simple. We're either whinging or we're winning. And each and every day, you've got to do whatever you can to improve your own situation. I hope you enjoy Blockages to Success. Over the past five years of travel, I've spoken to hundreds of real estate agents across the nation, all who have the same common goal, to be a successful real estate agent. Many do not achieve this goal, and the reasons for this are varied. Some want success without commitment. Many want results with little effort, and almost all have a complaint about office management or persons responsible for preventing their success. Then there are those who believe they are with the wrong office branding. If only I was with a leading brand, then I would be a great agent. The above are excuses, not reasons for blockages to success. Every office faces challenges, but there are people who just get on with it and do well despite these challenges. And believe me, there is no such thing as a perfect office. In response to all the above, you could have every system, script and dialogue, great brand management and incredible software at your fingertips and still achieve very little. Why? Because all the tools and skill in the world are useless without the hunger and desire to succeed. Solution. Hunger is the ingredient that so many people lack. The hunger for results, education, knowledge and systems. By responding to your hunger, nothing becomes a blockage to success. You will have a clear and concise purpose for everything you do. And all the knowledge acquired through training starts to fit into place. The audio training messages will start to penetrate your heart and emotions as if they were recorded personally for you at that point in your life. Those books of wisdom that seem to choose you at certain stages of life will deliver the words that alter your thinking forever, allowing you to hold it all together. Issues that were previously important will seem to have no relevance. Your intentions will be clearer, your inner self calm, yet excited as you know you're on the right track to achievement. The big question now is, if you feel you have lost the hunger to succeed, how do you reignite it? Get inspired by something or someone. Read that book, attend that course or talks that you convinced yourself were a waste of time. Do something rather than complain about what is going on around you. Stop living your life for the approval of others and be who you really are. Take time for yourself. That's right, be selfish for one moment. Plan your destination. Be the person who did something about their career in January, not the whinger complaining at the close of the financial year in June. Contribute to all people around you and watch the returns. Fight no one. Just be part of the positive motion. Don't bitch about others or be part of the negative conversations that are so easy to join. Separate yourself and make something of your name. The choice is yours and yours alone. No matter what you choose, I wish you well. And if I see you in the training rooms, be sure to say hello and mention this message. And that concludes our coaching tip for today. I look forward to seeing you next week. I'm Lee Woodward. Goodbye.